What's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Basically, today I'm going to be teaching you a three-point saddle, okay, for those that have to go around small round obstructions. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys had, you know, come across the problem where sometimes, you know, you're going over something that's as small as one inch or three quarters of an inch and your bends are just too close together. Well, the solution is using a smaller degree of a three point four three point saddle, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a 22 and a half degree three point saddle, which is gonna be in the center and on the sides, it's gonna be 11 degrees, okay? So let me show you how to lay it out. I'm gonna show you and tell you what the multiply is and what the shrink is gonna be so you could adjust your center, okay? Now, before I get into that, just want to let you know also that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one classes. If, you, if you're interested and that's something that you think that um, is for you, as far as conduit bending goes, then um, you can contact me through any of my social medias. I'll post that in the description. And yeah, anything, just reach out to me. All right. Now, with that said, let's go to the lab and let me show you how to complete this bend. All right, guys. So now that we're back here on the lab, let me show you how to actually lay this out. Now, for the sake of the video, okay, we're going to do a small obstruction, whatever the case may, whatever it is that, it, that the obstruction is going to be, we'll go ahead and uh, bend it for you. All right, so let me show you how to lay this out first. I'm not going to write it out or I'm not going to actually, um, you know, go through the calculation because it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's just like any other three-point saddle, okay, basically. So now, our multiplier is five, okay, five, so that you remember that, okay. So uh, for the sake of the video, let's just do... All right, a simple one inch obstruction, okay? So basically it's gonna be five inches because it's one times five basically is five, it's five inches, okay? So pretty much, let's just say that from the last conduit, okay? Or box or junction box or whatever the case may be, all right? we our obstruction is at 30 inches okay 30 inches right now don't forget that we have to adjust it okay the center adjustment which is the shrink the shrink is 3 sixteenths okay for every two inches of rise okay so basically for two inches of rise, it's going to move three sixteenths of an inch, all right? Now, for this one here, it's basically only one inch, so there's practically no adjustment that we have to do for this one, all right? Now, if there was, let's just say, uh, let's just say that there was a two inch obstruction, right then you would have to adjust it by 3 sixteenths okay if there was uh four inches then you would have to do it by three eighths okay so for every two inches it's three sixteenths all right but in this case we're doing a one inch obstruction so that you can see how you know how well this three-point saddle actually works for smaller round obstructions okay now, with that said, our spacing is going to be five inches apart, all right? So, with that said, we can go ahead and set out our spacing, all right? So, being that the center is 30, my side bends are going to be at five inches apart from the center, okay? So, there we go, all right? Now... The bending procedure goes as such. It's going to be the same thing. The center bend is going to be on the notch and the two side bends are going to be on the arrow. Okay. Now with that said, I'm, I use the marker. Okay. But never use a marker. I'm only using a marker here on the video so that you guys can see it a lot better. Okay. Because the pencil, I was getting uh, some feedback saying that they couldn't really see the mark too well. All right, so 
I'm using the marker even though this is my worst enemy here. I really don't like using marker at all. But for the sake of you guys, so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing, I don't mind one bit. All right, guys? Also, while I'm doing this, I want to let you know that I'm doing tutoring classes, all right? You can uh, get all the information uh, on the description of this video. You can catch me on any social media for more information on that, okay? Soon, I will have some merch and uh, some swag that you guys can actually get. I know I've been getting a lot of requests for that. Just haven't had time to put something together that's actually worth it, all right? want to get something that's actually worth it. I'm actually working on something that, um, a little accessory, little tool for uh, you can't do it, Bendis. I'll surprise you guys when it comes out. Anyhow, okay, so we have our three bends, okay? Now, the order of bending is going to be the same. You're going to do your center bend first and then the, the side bends. Now, why I keep saying that is because uh, I've put a few videos out there on three-point saddles that, that it's a push through method okay this has not a push through method this is the standard way of bending a three-point saddle okay so with that said you're going to use your notch okay or tear drop if you're using the client bender all right and then you are going to use your arrow for the two side bends okay all right so again, before I do that, your multiplier is five and your shrink is two is three sixteenths for every two inches. All right, guys. So now let's go over and bend this conduit. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. So here I'm with the bender and I'm with my actual conduit. It's already laid out. All right, we have our center bend and then we have our two side bends, all right? Now, this is going to be just like any other three-point saddle. Basically, you're going to go ahead and place it on the notch for the center bend, all right? Now, if you can't see that, it's right on the notch, all right? Or the teardrop, if it's a Klein bender, obviously, all right? And we're just going to go ahead and bend it. 22 and a half degrees now you're gonna have that here on your bender okay but the trick is i know you guys are saying we don't have an 11 degree mark you don't but you do have a 10 degree mark on your actual conduit all right now anytime you don't have an actual degree mark that you want to bend it to on your on your bender you can pretty much just judge, you know, where it's going to be and you can tweak it, you know, as you go, you know, it's not really that much of a big deal. Okay. Now, like I said, you have a 10 degree mark, so you only need an 11 degree bend. You can actually just either take it to 10 and adjust it accordingly. Okay. There you go. So with that said, let's bend our 22 and a half degree bend. And I like to take it, there's two ways that you can do this. You could either put your actual knee on there, all right, and then just give it some pressure and pull down. Or, you know, the way that I like to do it, because I like to actually have some control over it, is I put it under my armpit and I grab it with two hands, all right, and then I go ahead and put some pressure on it. And I can lower my knees and then I'll just go ahead and bend it that way. All right, so with that said, we're going to take it to 22 and a half degrees. And you want to you want to try to be parallel to the lines that are actually on there. Okay. And that's just about it right there. So that's my 22 and a half degree bend. All right. Now, with that said, since I'm already here, all I have to do is slide it down to the arrow for my next mark which is there, and rotate it, okay? And that's pretty much it right there, okay? Now, with that said, I want to make sure that I don't dog it and it's aligned with the handle, okay? That's how I like to actually line up my conduit. I try to look at the, at the handle and I look straight ahead and make sure that everything is 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 aligned properly okay and with that said we go ahead and bend our 11 degree bend okay and that's just going to be a small little nudge basically 10 degree is not much and that's about it okay that's it 
With that said, we come around and we put our next mark for the 11 degree bend on our arrow. Okay? And we're gonna align it the same way. Okay? The same way. With three bends, you gotta be on point. You know, it's really easy to dog it. It really is. All right, now with that said, we're gonna go ahead and bend our 11 degree bend, okay? using the 10 degree mark. You're just gonna go over it just a little bit, okay? And that's it. What I like to do is I'd like to best bend a little less, okay? This way I can, you know, put it on a straight edge and I can check it rather than go over and over bend it and have to take out the bend and risk kinking it, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and bend. And that's pretty much it, okay? Now with that said, that's how subtle it is. So if you see how subtle the bend is, it's actually, it works perfectly. You have five inches of spacing in between, okay? So it's easy to get it in the bender and bend it. And this is for a one inch obstruction, okay? So it actually works for small obstructions when you need to actually go over you know, go over it, all right, and keep them nice and clean. This is a nice clean bend, all right, nice clean bend, and it's going over a small obstruction. Now, you could also do this for large obstructions, but it's going to be, you know, pretty spaced out. Your bends are going to be pretty spaced out, but you get that back in the end because you get to do more bends when you, have, when you need to, okay, because this in total right here is only 45 degrees, Okay, it's only 45 degrees as opposed to doing the average way, the standard way with 45 in the center and two 22s and a, half, and a half on the sides. That comes out to a 90 degree bend right there just for the three point saddle. So with this, you're cutting it down into half. Okay, which, like I said, saves you more bending for your install. All right. Now, with that said, that's pretty much it for today. All right. I wanted to um, take the time out to, to say that I'm doing classes. If that's something that you think you might be interested in, contact me. Uh, please join my Discord server and, yeah, catch me on there. And you could actually ask me any questions that you want on my Discord. If you have any video ideas or podcast ideas that you might, can, that you might think of, please shoot me an email, a text a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, my name is Mel. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.